As we approach the end of our third year of the Greensboro Fellows Program, we are so excited to celebrate God's faithfulness in the lives of the fellows who have been with us, as well as dream for the future together with you. Three years ago, the Fellows Program was built on Jesus' command in Matthew 9, 37, and 38, where he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. And this has been our prayer for the last three years. We're excited for a couple reasons. First, because we're surrounded by people like you, a great cloud of witnesses, who are praying for the very same thing, that our young people would be discipled and developed and equipped to be sent out to share the good news of Jesus Christ wherever he calls them to go. And the second is we're excited to be in Greensboro and believe we're strategically placed to be a gateway to the nations for sharing the gospel. In the last two and a half years, we've seen 24 fellows come from 21 different cities in 11 states to be discipled and developed. And with two years fully completed, we've seen 18 fellows leave and go from here to 10 different cities and six different states to live out the Great Commission. God truly has been faithful to answer our prayer. Simply put, we provide 10 months of growth that we believe will be lifelong and lifelong opportunities for after the program so that our next generation leaders who are young believers will be shaped and formed to be influences in both the church and the marketplace of the future. We do this by living out five main rhythms together and during their time with us fellows worship together in a local body each week. They start each week in morning prayer and worship and study of the scriptures together. They live out their vocation, a field that they desire to go into, working a 25-hour internship to see how to live out their faith in the workplace. They study, studying theologically, vocationally, and with a leadership development program custom-made for the fellows by the Center for Creative Leadership, which is ranked second in the world in executive leadership development. Fellows also live out a Sabbath each week, taking 24 hours to do nothing but play and pray. And during their time with us, they will have family dinners together where they break bread and study the scriptures, as well as being paired with a one-on-one -on -one mentor who will lead and guide them during their time with us, as well as advocate for them after the program's over. And we believe that these things put together and lived out in a weekly rhythm over the course of 10 months will foster both growth and opportunities for our next generation of leading believers. My name is Sarah Reed, and I have the privilege of serving as the Assistant Director of the Greensboro Fellows Program. I'm so excited to share with you about one of the incredible opportunities that the Fellows have each year to travel halfway across the world to Rwanda together. One way I've been blessed by our partnership with Rwanda has been sponsoring a little boy named Shema Ivan through Compassion International, which is an opportunity that each Fellow is given every year to be impacted and to make an impact in similar ways. I think the highlight reel of my life will include the moment of driving up to Shema's house for the first time, where 10 Rwandan children were singing a song that had already become familiar to us. We are the children of God, God our Father, Jesus our brother, we are the children of God. Three years later, when the first class of fellows made their trip to Rwanda, a group of us got to walk together to Shema's house. During this visit, I had the opportunity to talk with Shema's grandmother, Grace, and I learned a bit more about Shema's family that hadn't been shared in the letters we write to one another through compassion. His parents are unfortunately no longer married or directly involved in his life, but God has provided this sweet, strong grandmother to raise him and his two older sisters. Toward the end of our conversation, Grandma Grace leaned her head in close, put her hand on my arm, and said, Shema does not know his mother, but he knows you, so you are a mother to him. And since you are a mother to him, that makes you my daughter. Those words are beautiful, even from an earthly perspective, but what illuminates them and makes them come fully alive is that they are actually true, that Jesus Christ has made us family. What an incredible opportunity it is for fellows to experience this firsthand, a potentially life-changing shift in how we love and view the world. Currently, we have three main organizations that we partner with in Rwanda. Compassion International, a child sponsorship agency, Hope International, an organization that works through microfinance and savings and credit associations, and International Cooperating Ministries, a church planting organization. 
Already this year, the fellows have met with leaders from each of these three organizations, heard their personal stories of how they came to be involved in the work God has called them to, and learned about how God is working through the mission of each of these organizations. Only God knows the seeds He is planting right now in our midst that might bear fruit not just in Greensboro or North Carolina or the United States, but to the ends of the earth. Hey Greensboro, my name is Libby Hasse and I was in the Greensboro Fellows Program last year in 2014. I wanted to share a little bit about how my time in the Fellows led to lifelong opportunities past the program. Last year when I was in the program, I had an internship with Helix Partners as a project manager. I learned a lot about social justice in the for-profit area, and it solidified my plans to want to work for a for-profit that does social good in the world. After the Greensboro Fellows Program and after my internship, one of the companies that my boss, Jim Van Arden, was a part of started hiring. He offered me a job and I took it. So I moved to Southern California, all the way across the country to work for a company called Sevenly. And they sell t-shirts and apparel and work with a different nonprofit every week to raise money for that nonprofit. I get to work with the charities every day and I love it. So thank you to the Greensboro Fellows Program for giving me lifelong opportunities past the program. We truly believe the Lord is working through this program and especially through people like you to build a gateway for many to hear and experience the good news of Jesus Christ through the workers that he's sending into the harvest. Thank you for celebrating these first three years with us and we want to invite you to dream for the future as well. There are three main ways we'd like to ask you to consider helping us build for the future. The first is to partner with us in service. Simply go to our website and click on the partner page and you'll see several different ways that you can become part of our team. The second is to pray. We are always looking to be surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses to pray for these young believers in their discipleship and development process. The third is through donations. We are currently $15,000 away from meeting our annual budget for the 2015 calendar year, and we'd like to ask you to consider becoming either a one-time or a monthly donor to the program. Simply go to the website, click on the Partner tab, and then the Donate tab, and it will walk you through a very simple process. Once again, thank you so much for celebrating the first three years of the Greensboro Fellows Program with us, and we hope you have an incredibly blessed day.